Uh, couldn't be happier with him at home. Uh, he really has come out of Warwick in the form of his life and as long as we can maintain where he is right now till two weeks time there's a couple of pieces of work to be done um, but he's schooled fantastic well this morning uh, and he's, he's an exciting horse to come here with. Yeah and what, has he got a couple of entries where, where are you going to go? Yeah he's in the Neptune and the Albert Bartlett. Um, I think we're leaning towards the Neptune to be honest I'm, I'm very uh, careful not to go too far with these youngsters before they need to. Um, he won over 2-5 at Warwick uh, it was soft ground that day so that probably might make th a lot of people think we probably should go Albert Bartlett but I, I believe he's got you know, he's got a turn of foot when he needs it he was um, ran very well in the entry bumper there last year um, when he had plenty to do from the home turn so you know, he's um, yeah, he's, he's exciting the Neptune would probably be our most likely target and um, yeah, all systems go. The ground might make you change your mind a bit, you know, yeah, the very unlikely you know, event it came up faster. Exactly. You know, there's one's Neptune's on the Wednesday, obviously the Albert's on the Friday. Um, <clears throat> with the fact that if you have a dry week, it can quite often be a lot quicker by the Friday. Um, but I'd imagine it'll be good to soft or slightly slower on the Wednesday and that might just suit us well. You're good. And a hair's breadth that um, you know has done done well for the stable. What uh, what news with him? He's um, done very well for us. Um, he, we started him off over hurdles. We thought we'd have a crack at the Greatwood. Ran fantastically well. Finished fourth, beaten two and a half lengths or whatever it was. Um, very much hampered um, on the run in after the last and hampered three out. Uh, and I think a stiff two mile round here is what he wants. He's in the county hurdle. Um, but he's probably most likely to go for the um, Arkle, Dickie Johnson's book to ride um, with Nico and David um, most likely busy on uh, Charbel and Altiel. Um but I feel the race could just slightly be set up for him to run a big race um, with Charbel forcing the pace, Altiel will probably sit off, him, sit off of him and those of us that sit in behind those could, could come and try and swoop and we're not expecting to necessarily beat Alti or if he turns up and runs within 20 pounds of his absolute best he's going to be very hard to beat um, but he is you know he's, he's, he's lost nothing in his first two races he won a nice race at Bangor uh, the race at uh, the grade two at Donny just did not work out for us at all um, Maracuja didn't go much of a gallop um, and then he obviously went he obviously wasn't right and we were sort of left in front six from home and it turned into a sprint and that's just simply not what he's about he's he's got plenty of gears but he's he wants every yard of two miles and a stiff two so um you know he he, he the, the horses that beat him that day three and four lengths um are sort of half the price of him so um i don't see any reason why that is the case but he's certainly going to come here with a with an exciting chance of getting in the placings i think